general rehearsal of security plan for APEC Economic Leaders Week. Photos of APEC delegates banned from being taken and posted on social networks. Many investors interested in Lin Chiu Port project. Hello, welcome back to DRT News. Recently in Da Nang, the Security and Health Subcommittee under the APEC 2017 National Committee and Ministry of Public Security have jointly organized a rehearsal for deployment ceremony and security plan for APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. The ceremony and rehearsal took place at the venue on Trần Hưng Đạo Street with the participation of more than 2,000 officers of different forces, including public security, military, health, and hundreds of vehicles, equipment, and most modern tanks. The rehearsal is an opportunity for the units to conduct a review and gain experience for the better execution of the military launch and security drill serving APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017, which will officially take place on the morning of October the 24th, thereby contributing to maintaining a political security, social order and security, ensuring absolute safety for events during the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 in Da Nang. Numerous policemen of the Da Nang port at the Da Nang International Airport have just participated in the contest theme Confidence Towards APEC 2017, showing the spirit of being ready to fulfill the assigned task. In preparation for the APEC Economic Leaders Week, the police force at the Da Nang International Airport has taken many measures to ensure that all activities of immigration of delegates will be smoothly implemented, meeting the requirements for political tasks and foreign affairs. With that spirit, the contest has become a deployment ceremony of the police force at the Da Nang International Airport to welcome the APEC High Level Week. Da Nang Department of Tourism has requested transporters of APEC delegates and reporters to comply with regulations by APEC National Committee in which drivers, tour guides and tour leaders are not allowed to take photos of delegates. Accordingly, drivers, tour guides and tour leaders are not allowed to take photos of delegates without permission, nor post photos of the delegations and their members to social networks. The department also requests APEC tour transporters not to reveal such information as accommodation time, agenda, menu and image of the delegates to public. According to the City's People's Committee, there have been seven domestic and foreign investors submitting proposals to participate in the study phase of the Lin Chiu Port project with a total investment capital of 324 million USD. Lin Chiu Port is expected to accommodate large container ships of 6,000 to 8,000 TEUs. The first phase will be completed and put into operation by 2022. Total investment capital for this project is estimated at 7,378 billion Vietnam dongs, equivalent to 324 million USD. Da Nang City has also submitted a request to the Prime Minister to approve the pre-feasibility study report for Lin Chiu Port project. Meanwhile, ODA capital will be deployed for the construction of the jetty and breakwater component of the project in order to build favorable infrastructure for attracting investors to explore the project. Since the beginning of the year, Da Nang has continued enhancing the investment promotion activities along with paying focus on improving investment environment. Thereby, more enterprises have chosen Da Nang to invest in. Particularly, Da Nang has attracted 73 new FDI projects with the total registered capital of nearly 62 million USD, four times higher than that of the same period last year, and five others with the total additional capital of more than 894,000 US dollars. In addition, the city is promoting trail projects with a total investment of about 500 million US dollars, mainly in the fields of health, education, energy, information technology, industry, and logistics. Since the beginning of the year, the city has attracted 34 investment projects into industrial zones with a total investment capital of nearly 784 billion dollars. 
According to experts' evaluation, with young labor force, Đà Nẵng has the advantages of lower labor and living costs than Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh and many other big cities in the Southeast Asia. Thus, IT enterprises are able to have access to young, dynamic, responsible and well-trained labor source. Moreover, save much expenses to expand their investments and business. This is considered as one of the advantages for attracting more investors to Da Nang. The number of trainees from IT training facilities in the city is approximated at 2,000 people. Besides, the IT labor force of Da Nang City also come from other training facilities of the central region and nationwide. One of the applications that Danak City is implementing toward building a smart city is the bus management system using the IT narrowly monitoring device. This system is still being improved to maximize its effectiveness. Accordingly, via an itinerary monitoring device, the system collects information such as location, velocity, venue, estimated travel time, route in real time, updates on current location on the map, and bus arrival and departure time at the stations to serve the management and operation of buses. In addition, Da Nang Department of Transport has also introduced the Da Nang Dana Bus application for searching subsidized metropolitan bus routes on mobiles compatible to both Android and iOS operating systems, facilitating people search and use of buses. After six months of operation, this application has contributed to attracting people to the use of public transport and improve the performance efficiency of the Da Nang bus system. Da Nang Department of Investment and Planning stated that the city was calling for investment into the electronic railway project connecting Da Nang and Hội An. So far, there have been some overseas and domestic investors who are interested in this project. The city looks forward to investors and sponsors' interests. The Department of Investment and Planning also provided general information about the project for the first time. In particular, the project required the investment capital of 7,497 to 14,995 billion dollars, equivalent to 330 to 660 million USD under the forms of ODA or PPP. The implementation schedule was expected to commence from 2017 to 2023. The total length was approximated at 33 kilometers, in which the major route was aimed at connecting Da Nang International Airport to Hội An, running along the coastal road. On October the 22nd evening, the final round of the contest team, the University of Da Nang students with APEC 2017, took place in Da Nang. The event serves as a good opportunity for the organizers to introduce students to the basic knowledge of the formation and development of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation. Starting taking place in early September, the contest aimed to introduce the land and people of Da Nang City, at the same time drawing the concerns from students about the APEC member economies, along with the great opportunities and challenges that APEC Economic Leaders Week will bring to Da Nang in particular and Vietnam in general. Through the contest, the organizers would like to equip students with general knowledge about the formation and development of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, encouraging the movement to learn English among numerous students, providing opportunity for students to exchange, meet and improve their foreign language skills, as well as improving their soft skills in the international integration period. That's all for today's news. Please log on to drt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye for now.